KSLA presents your hometown show, featuring outstanding businesses and services in your community. Here's your host, Amanda Jobert. Good morning. We're out on location today at the Shreveport Breast Center, and I'm with Dr. Michael Schwalke. Um, Dr. Schwalke, you've been known as a forward thinker for a long time in regards to different surgical technologies and in relation to breast disease. And um, we're going to talk about a, a really interesting uh, finding today, a, a new technique that is uh, available. And I'm, I think that we all want to hear a little bit about this. What are we talking about? We're talking about cryoablation, cryosurgery, freezing tumors, killing tumors uh, using the power of frozen ice ball. We use a liquid nitrogen to cool the tumor down to minus 200 degrees. It kills the tumor, it melts mm -hmm. away. You know, fibroadenomas are very common. It's a benign tumor that occurs in the breast. Mm -hmm. 700, 800,000 women have these surgically removed each year. Right. And I believe it's totally unnecessary for them to have anesthesia, incision, antibiotics, post-operative pain, scarring, and everything associated with the surgical procedure with this technology available, which is known to work very effectively. Yeah, and the freezing, I mean, that does sound much more painless than having to be put under, having to have be cut on. I mean, if we have an option, I'm going to go with just freezing at any time. Well, you know, what we can do now is we can make a three millimeter incision in the breast, mm -hmm. uh, and, and the breast is numb, you don't feel anything, and I, this is hooked to a machine that circulates liquid, liquid nitrogen, mm -hmm. and this is placed in the tumor, and then an ice ball forms around the tumor, and we watch the ice ball grow. Mm -hmm. And uh, depending on the width and the height and the depth of the tumor, the ice ball is made a certain size. But typically the procedure lasts four, six, eight minutes. You pull this out of the little hole and the tumor is dead. And over the period of the next three, six months, 12 months, all evidence of the tumor completely goes away. Now I have to ask this for those of us out there that this affects, what if we have implants? Uh, you know, I have studied that, I have published about that, and there's effective ways to protect the implants from the frozen tumor. It's just a simple technique to mm -hmm. avoid injuring or freezing the implant. But sure. no, that doesn't really preclude you doing a cryoablation. Wow, so this is pretty much available to any of us out there that maybe have fibroadenomas and are looking at having to have something done to remove them. Yes, I mean, it, and it depends on many things, sure. but most patients can certainly be treated and effectively with this technology. And what have you done to bring this to the area to those of us out there? Well, I've, I've worked, I've done several studies with the company. I've worked with the insurance companies to demonstrate to them it's effective, mm -hmm. it's cost efficient, it's mm -hmm. cheaper, and really I passionately believe it's the best thing for the patient. Less pain. Uh, yeah, they, probably just a local anesthetic. I would local think. anesthetic. Mm -hmm. They No patient has ever required narcotics. Mm -hmm. All the complications associated with surgery are avoided. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just the right thing to do. Can we read about it? Um, read up on it? Do you have any information out there for us? Well, fibroadenoma, if you were to Google fibroadenoma, it would be all over the internet. Sure. The company that I have an affiliation with now is called Ice Cure, mm -hmm. and they have a, a website that gives a great deal of information. Okay, and if we want to uh, talk to you further or we think we might be a candidate, can we contact you or do we need to go to our uh, doctor and be referred? Unfortunately, uh, your doctor may not know about this technology, but we would be happy to talk to you. Just give us a call. Okay, I think we have the number on the screen now. You actually um, have a patient we're gonna speak with that has had the procedure done and she's gonna tell us a little about her experience. Yeah, you should 
listen to what she has to say and okay. she's been through it yeah you know first-hand knowledge is yep. always always the best thank you dr. Schwan. my pleasure thank you joining me now is Amanda Davis Amanda um, you actually have had cryoablation what made you choose this technique um, well, Dr. Swalke really did run through a few different options with me, and um, and this is you know a procedure that he's worked on. He's very familiar with, mm -hmm. and he made me feel really comfortable about how it all goes down and mm -hmm. what exactly happens compared to other options. It really was the easiest and quickest and um, you know best option for me. So, so what was the experience actually like? It was quick, easy, painless. I mean. I really, I was nervous at first. I mean, mm -hmm. of course, who's not whenever you go and to have procedure. anything? Right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But um, I mean, literally, I was in there. I, I think I went in at 9 a.m. and I was out by 9:30. I mean, easily. I went home and I, I slept for a little while, and then I was back to work the next day easily. Yeah, so, no anesthesia hangover, nothing not like that. Not at all. It was it was quick and painless. I mean, it really was, and I definitely recommend it to you know other people. So, sure. all right. Yeah. Thanks for speaking with us Of today. course, no problem.